the um, array initializer we saw in the previous um, uh, slide is uh, uh, just a shortened form of um, an anonymous array and um, uh, you can use a, an anonymous array wherever you would like to put an array and you're not too concerned about what the name is. Um, here's an example of this, it gets around the uh, previous problem that I showed. Uh, what you do is um, you put new followed by the type descriptor uh, followed it by the uh, initializer and um, that's now OK, that uh, gets around that previous problem. And that's um, called an anonymous array. And uh, you can use uh, you can use this wherever you would um, uh, normally put an initializer. In fact, so here, for example, uh, we've got an initializer, and that's the conventional way of doing things. Um, you can put uh, new int array array in front like that, and uh, that's also perfectly acceptable. And of course, this being uh, an array in there, you can also put one in there, or uh, you can have it like that, or um, indeed like that any of these combinations and um, they all produce um, exactly the same byte code so there's no difference whatsoever as far as I can tell they're all exactly the same um, uh, you can also use one um, wherever you need to build an array and you're not too concerned about it um, uh, here's an example um, we've got a method here called uh, polygon it takes an array of points. And presumably there's some code to construct polygon or something. So um, here we've got uh, an anonymous array here, new point, and uh, uh, the initializer here we've um, used several point constructors. Presumably these are x and y coordinates or something. And uh, that presumably is um, drawing a triangle or something like that. <coughs> 